And we are continuing our total team coverage on the debate now. In recent years, politics has gone from a hot button issue to downright divisive. It's even splitting up some households. Our CN New Yorker spoke with prominent media figure Geraldo Rivera, whose wife, Sia, not on the same side of the aisle. <laughs> Absolutely, Nicole. Now, right now, he's in a good place, but ask his wife, Erica, tomorrow, and she might tell you differently. Now, the couple very gener generously invited me and photojournalist Marty Deshaun into their home where we talked about how they've stayed married for more than 20 years, despite the last four years. Take a listen. You know, it's funny that we complete our, each other's sentences on big issues, but on politics, we don't seem to agree on very very much. No, when, whenever we start to argue during the day, Geraldo will say, save it for the radio show. <laughs> <laughs> and, and she gets so emotional, so passionate about it. Oh. I, I like that. But uh, on the other hand, you know, come on, honey, we got to give it a break a little bit when we're on, uh, when we're off the air. And, and we do. We have a wonderful, wonderful we relationship. We've been together. Politics is not life. Well, it is in a way, but. It is in a way. But 20 years we've been Geraldo's together. Geraldo's not Trump. That's what I tell myself at night. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> and believe me, Sia, there are times when uh, I, I worry that she thinks I am the president. The way she, you and you and you. But honey, it's not me. It's Donald Trump. You. Oh, my goodness. Tell us about your yard side. It got a lot of attention. Well, there was no way that I was giving up my Biden-Harris sign. I was very proud to put it up. Geraldo speaks for his mind for a living, gets to say whatever he wants to on Fox that's, and on the radio show. That's not so. literally true, because you did agree to take the sign down when the president was in I did in, not. I never said Cleveland. that. Nope. Oh, you're right. I was going to take it. I, you're right. I did take it down for, for three two, days. I think it was two days. Two days. <laughs> <laughs> I begged her. I said, what if the president comes over the house? I and said, he, yeah, and he half sees of this a house. Biden a Biden Harris sign in the front yard. An educated woman lives here. Can't, can't we please give it a break for two days? Oh my God. Listen, that very loving couple has some great advice. So coming up on 19 News at about 445, hear more from them and an author and therapist who writes about love and politics. We've got some great tips coming up for you. Reporting here in Cleveland, CNN New Yorker, 19 News. Our love has survived the past four years, kind of crazy. <laughs> there have been some heated moments. <laughs> I can imagine. Uh, and you know what, though? They're not alone. That's Fox News personality and radio host Geraldo Rivera and his wife, Erica. They are one example of a couple that's making it worse. Work. Of course, it's an age-old question that has added relevance in this time. Can love survive the political cycle? Our CN New Yorker is live to show us how some are navigating it. Nicole and Nicole and Chris, yes, the race to the White House is in full swing, and now more than ever, the couples are finding themselves fighting about politics. But folks I talk with say it doesn't have to be that way. There's an old saying that you should never talk religion or politics in polite company, and some believe even in marriage. The key is you really have to leave it at the bedroom door. You really have to make a clear distinction between how we feel about politics and how we feel about each other. But politics have made some people literally break up. Wakefield Research, a marketing firm, has conducted in-depth surveys, this one with 1,000 adults. 22% of Americans reported ending a romance over political disagreements, and about 35% of millennials know a couple whose marriage or relationship has been negatively impacted since President Trump's election. Dr. Jenny Safer says politics can be divisive if you let it. Article thrusting is you take an article, okay, here's the article, you stick it in the person's face and you say, read this, this will change your mind. <laughs> Do you think it's ever worked in the history of the world? <laughs> the psychotherapist has written a number of books. Her latest, quote, I love you, but I hate your politics. And for her, this is very personal. We don't agree on anything politically. You name it, we disagree on it. 
but we we agree on everything that's not political. It's the you same know, here in Northeast here Ohio teenager. with Geraldo Rivera and wife the Erica. Teenager. They've been married 20 years. The big issues we agree. Women's rights, human rights. But we disagree on politics. Recently, their yard signs made national headlines showing their political alliances. Do you guys know that people see you as an example of how it can work? I hope so, because I think it's really sad if couples do break up over this and families break up. And I do think that a lot of people and their families are not talking to each other over politics right now. And so I hope that we can be an example. Otherwise, I think politics win. And that's really sad. Dr. Safer, Geraldo, and Erica have some great tips to survive this election cycle, and we've uploaded uh, some of those tips on our website at cleveland19.com. Now, I want to mention uh, just a little bit ago, the president arrived here uh, to the campus, and so that is why we jumped out of the way um, so that we could get that procession for you. As you know, we've got you covered on air and online, and we will be bringing you all those reports very soon. Reporting here in Cleveland, CNN New Yorker, 19 News.